what's going on y'all in this video I'm going to be going over some troubleshooting options for you guys uh, if any of you guys are using vortex and you're having issues with mods not loading not working um, there are some small minute details in certain folders and any files that you may need to change to get the work um, and it's really easy to overlook um, for mod organizer users I'm not sure if this method will work for you guys I don't use mod organizer um, but uh, I'm going to go over some troubleshooting options and I'm going to go show you guys a few key essential mods that are really easy to install and will make uh, modding this game super uh, convenient until the creation kit is released and we start getting mods properly made for the game. Um, so first off, I'll show you guys the mods that you want to install and we will start off with, um, let's see here. We're going to want to start off with the Starfield Script Extender SFSE, or if you're familiar with Skyrim, SKSE, it's the equivalent of that. Um, and this is super easy and basic to install. Basically, you're going to click on Files. You're going to get Manual Download. Don't use Vortex for this. Manual Download. It'll take you to the next page. Slow Download. I've already done that, so here's the file here. And it tends to open up on my other monitor for some reason. Um, but here's your ex script extender file. You're just going to open that up. And you're going to take these two bottom folders. You're not going to touch anything else. You just want these two files. And you're going to put them in your main uh, Starfield directory. Um, and for those who may not be familiar with that, I'm going to show you the path that you normally take uh, to get to your ex script extender, uh, or not script extender, uh, main game folder directory and basically you'll just click on your hard drive that you have it installed on which is my C drive then you'll go to program files 86 then you'll go all the way down to Steam look for Steam apps go up to common and then find Starfield Starfield so this is the main game directory also you can go on to Steam um, and you can right click on the Starfield game and I believe you can get to this file from there as well um, but I, I always do it this way just because I'm used to it and I have a shortcut on my desktop for it so it makes it quicker but uh, you're gonna come here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, script extender files these two files right here and you're just gonna drag and click pull them into this folder I've already done it so I'm not gonna do it but it's that easy just drop a quick in there and she's good to go so once you have that installed the next mod that you're going to want to install is address library and you can use vortex for this so you'll just go here and just get the version that matches your um, your version of SKS FSE and the games uh, current updated one this tends to be updated at the same time too. They, they're they usually within a few hours they have an update for it. So you can use your mod manager for this. And uh, for requirements, this has no, no requirements. This mod does not have any known dependencies other than the base game. So once you have that installed through Vortex, the next mod you're going to want is Plugin Text Enabler. And this mod is essential uh, until the creation kit comes out. And this one is a little bit complicated, but it's not complicated. When I say that, I mean in comparison to installing this KSE. There's just a few more files you'll have to deal with. Um, this mod requires script extender. If you go to the description, installation, install with mod manager of choice, Vortex Mod Organizer 2. I'm not familiar with Mod Organizer 2, though, so this may help. This guide may help. It may not. I'm not sure. But install with um, your mod manager then what you're going to want to do for this because every almost every mod you're going to download is going to have an ESM file and you're going to have to input the ESM file name into the plugin text enablers file and I'm going to show you how to do that it's super duper easy um, just for references, let's okay. Let's start off with your hard drive again. I'm going to show you the path to go to get to there. So you're going to start from your hard drive. You're going to go to your hard drive. You're going to click on Users. 
and then you're going to click on your actual name, like whatever your main, whatever the administrative um, user is for this P for your PC. So mine's that. Then you're going to go down to App Data. Now your App Data folder might be invisible. You might not be able to see it. So I'm using Windows 10. If you don't see App Data in this folder, what you're going to want to do is just come here, click on View. And then this is going to get a little drop down thing here. And you're just going to look for this here, hidden, hidden items. And you see how I check it? And they kind of disappear. You can't see it anymore. And that's basically all you got to do. It's just a hidden folder. So you're going to click on View. Just click this little hidden folders tab here. And bam, it shows up. App Data. So you're going to want to click on your App Data folder. Click on Local. And then you're going to look for Starfield. Where are you at, Starfield? Where are you at? Here it is. And as you can see, um, when you first install this, you're not going to see this. This file's not going to be there, and most likely this one's not going to be here. It's just this one that's going to be here at the start. So what you're going to want to do with this, you're going to want to create a new text file called Plugins. So you go New, uh, New Text Document, and then you name it Plugins. And what that's going to do is it's going to connect this to the actual Plugins Enabler program you now have installed with Mod Manager, and they're going to communicate with each other. So once you have uh, this in here, um, there's two things that can go wrong with this folder that can stop your mods from working. So what you'll want to do is you want to click on um, Properties, and then you're going to hit Details. Now the important thing here is the name. Now I have the name of the folder just called Plugins. And as you can see, name, plug, the real actual name, because not all of the name is shown, um, the real full name is plugins.txt. That's what you want to see in details. If you don't see that exact writing, your mods aren't going to work. Now, for some people, if you do type in just plugins for the file name, you might just get plugins and you won't see .txt. To fix that, just rename the, this file plugins.txt. Then what you're going to do again is you're just going to hit properties and just make sure when you hit details that it only says plugins.txt. If it says plugins.txt space txt, it's not going to work. Delete the txt dot from the file name. Just do make sure that that always says plugins.txt, nothing more nothing less and your mods will work. So what this does is it reads the games it, it reads the games mod like the mods you download it will read to let the game itself know that it exists and so if you open this these are the mods that I'm using that require ESM folders so I'm using uh, increased crew capacity um, Malnir armor, which is a Halo armor, um, Draytech, which is uh, a spaceship mod, and I'll give you an example of what you'll need to do. So let's let's say we want to use this. We want to use this Halo armor. We'll go back to Nexus, and then we'll type in MJ Malnir. That this is the mod I'm using. So if I was to install this mod. Um, if you go down to the descriptions, as you can see right here, Malnir, asterisk Malnir.esm, you have to copy this, and then in your plugins file that you created, you have to paste it onto here. Now, when you make this plugins file, make sure that you have a hashtag up top and nothing else. The top line has to be a hashtag by itself, and then after that, as you can see, for example, you paste um, new mods as you go. So if I was to get a new mod that requires an ESM, um, I would now paste it for the next line. And you have to make sure that it has the asterisk with it. There always has to be an asterisk. So it's basically the name of the mod dot ESM, and most mod authors will, will put that out there for you guys to know. Um, if I was to delete this text and save, when I go back in, the game's not going to 
recognize that the mod's installed and the mod won't work. So make sure you do that. Now, another thing that you're going to want to install is console command runner. And a lot of files, um, mods will require this. Um, I'm not the I'm not the most uh, savvy with this mod itself, so I can't give you too much detail about it. Just that a lot of the mods right now require this file, and the only requirements it has is address library, which you should already have installed, and Starfield script extender, which you already have installed. So you can just um, go here and just says requirements here um, he says I also highly recommend Baka achievement enabler um, I don't I'm not worried about achievements for this um, but there is another Baka uh, mod author mod you're gonna wanna download which will make everything so much easier to to install mods with and we're gonna go over that right now so right here is Baka disable my games folder so what this is going to do is it's going to streamline the way that Vortex installs mods. So for Skyrim and Follow, for instance, whenever you use Vortex and it installs a mod, it installs it directly into the game's main folder data directory file. But like I said at the beginning of this uh, video, for some reason, the textures and meshes all load from the document side. So what this mod is going to do is it's going to redirect the mods from going to the documents um, data folder and it's going to redirect the mods into the games data folder is which, which which all the other games would install. That's how Vortex is used to doing it and this is going to make it do that. So requirements, address library, Starfield and then you'll go down to files, you'll download it with Vortex. So once you have that installed, at the very bottom says if you have a Documents My Games Starfield data folder, and that's where this the the games normally would load textures and meshes. So if you're downloading armor mods or armor replacers or anything that changes textures or the shapes of things, that's where the that's where those files are going to want to go. But what that's going to do is redirect it to your game's main directory data folder. So once you have this installed, what you're going to do next is you're going to go to Documents, and sorry, Downloads, Documents, and you're going to click on My Games, and you're going to click on Starfield. And this is normally where your mods are going to go, but you would manually have to install them. But what with with this Baka mod it's going to redirect it so that Vortex can do everything for you now normally there would be a data folder in this folder what you're going to do is you're going to take that data folder um, I'm going to just make a dummy folder just so you guys can understand I'm going to misspell it um, D E T A. so I just I misspelled it on purpose just so it doesn't conflict with anything and then what's going to happen is you're going to want to go to your Starfield game directory main directory so again we'll follow that path I showed you C drive program 86 steam steam apps common and Starfield so as you can see, Starfield has its own data folder, and for you guys, there would also be a data folder here. All you're going to do is you're going to grab your data folder, and you're just going to drag it. You're just going to take your data folder, and you're going to drag it into this folder. And it's going to remove your data folder from here, and it's going to copy all its contents to this data folder. And after that, you're done. After that, all you got to do is install mods with Vortex the way you normally do, and they will work. Um, as long as you put the ESM uh, name in that plugins file that I showed you, if it requires that. And most mod authors will show you that it requires that. Now, for anyone that's brand new to modding Starfield, you're going to have to make a Starfield custom INI file. And this is another spot where... Um, I had issues and where you can have issues with this not letting you mo uh, mod your mods work. Sorry, I got a little tongue twisted there. So you want a Starfield custom 
INI file. Now you'll see that there's two here. Um, for some reason, a text document always shows up. Um, it says these these won't be here when you first start. So these two files here, pretend that they're not even they're not even here right now. What you're going to do is you're going to make a new text file, and you're going to call it Starfield Custom INI. And then that's it. I'm not going to retype it because there's already one there. It'll say it's a copy. So basically, you should have this. Now, the issue that you might have and the issue that I had was when I did this, it kept staying as a text folder and it wasn't or a file and it wasn't turning into an INI file. And that's what you need. You need it to be an INI file, not a text file. So when I first did this, it would this file here was all that was there. This would show up when I did it. And if you go to properties and you go to details, you can see the name is Starfield Custom INI Text. That's not going to work. You need the name to say Starfield Custom dot INI, and that's it. So as you can see, I went uh, here. And if you go to details, Starfield Custom I and I. That's all it says. Um, now, if this, when you make your f the first time you make this, if it does not switch to an I and I file when you name it Starfield Custom I and I dot I and I, the trick I did was I took this I and I file, which will already be here, and I just copied it, and then you'll take the contents of this so basically when you make the, the text folder the Starfield custom I and I what you're gonna wanna have in here is this line here and a lot of mod authors will have um, this pasted or on their thing so you can copy and paste it but you need to have this um, saved in your Starfield custom INI file for your mods to load. This will load your mods. This will make your mods work. So this has to be in here. So make sure that you write or you copy and paste this. It's up here for you guys to see if you want to pause the video and make the name or most mod pages have it on here already. Oh, come here. You got double windows here. Shoot. So like I said, make sure that when you look at the details from properties, it says Starfield Custom dot I and I only. Text, it won't work. But you still have like stuff in here. Um, but it's it just like double copies itself for some reason. But that's the troubleshooting issue. Make sure that it says I and I, not TXT. And um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much. Um, the troubleshooting issues that I had, it, it had me baffled for a couple of days until I figured out that, oh my god, it's the it's just the text not changing to I and I or the names not being said properly. Um, so hopefully that helped you guys. And um, any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll try and help you to the best of my abilities. Um, the Starfield is still fairly new and modding without the creation kit is still... Um, new to me as well so I'm still having issues every once in a while so I'll help you to the best of my abilities but uh, if you guys have a bunch of mods installed already and you can't figure out why they're not working hopefully this worked for you guys and uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next next video peace